What is going on YouTube? Lex Express checking in to review the Blu-ray releases of G.I. Joe Retaliation, the 3D edition steelbook uh, from Walmart and the Best Buy exclusive extended edition. Now we're going to start off with the easiest one and that's going to be the extended edition from Best Buy. Now as you guys see here it has an alternate slip cover with the sticker that says extended cut. It includes the theatrical version as well. And for special features, it has nearly an hour behind the scene of featurettes and uh, deleted scenes. That's all it has for special features. And um, it says more combat, more thrill, more action. That's what it says in the back right there. But yeah, I'm going to uh, basically take this one out the way the quickest because there's not much to say. The 12 minutes that they add, you do feel it uh, mo mostly in the first half of the film. Basically, they add a bar scene. Um, where Dwayne The Rock Johnson, a.k.a. Roblox, and Channing Tatum kind of mess around with Flint, uh, telling him that, uh, you know, basically they're, they're, they're showing him a lesson for putting up the G.I. Joe sign in the beginning of the film. And then uh, moving on to the, another extended scene was the, the fight scene between Snake Eyes and Jinx. You know, where RZ or RZA, RZA, whatever you want, the blind master, uh, he's there basically narrating the, the fight scene or whatnot. That scene was extended and there was another scene uh, in the beginning of the movie extended as well as near the end. But nothing major, no plot changes. Uh, Channing Tatum is there for maybe like two minutes longer. Uh, I counted 22 minutes on the extended cut, how long he was in the film. So not much of a difference is if it's only worth buying if you guys don't have a 3D TV and if you guys don't really care about steelbooks. I'm happy I got it because I love the slip cover. You know, I'm a big slip cover collector. You know, when I buy movies, I love for them to come with a slip cover. And then it also has an alternate cut, which is nice. I mean, not an alternate cut, an alternate cover. So that's always nice and you know, it's real real nice. It's a, it's a nice set to have in the collection, especially me being a a, a rock fan. So now we're going to move on to the Walmart exclusive, which is the Steelbook 3D. This is definitely the best buy to get, uh, no pun intended, a best buy. <laughs> but yeah, this is the best purchase you guys could have done because it's not only a Steelbook, but if you guys ever do end up getting a 3D uh, TV, you will be able to use it. So um, yeah, the quality in the 3D, a lot of people complained about it, said it wasn't that good, but I really, really enjoyed it. I felt the death of the film. Uh, there was a couple of sword scenes that uh, popped out of the TV. Not much, but a little bit. And um, some of the accessory Storm Shadow throws, the little ninja stars, that, that also looks pretty nice, as well as the, the bullets. Um, so, yeah, the 3D itself was really, really good. Um, you know, for a movie that was post-converted, I thought it was very enjoyable, very noticeable. I saw a difference. I've seen the movie already three times. The first time I saw it in theaters, it was the regular theatrical cut, no 3D, no IMAX. The second time I watched it was the extended cut, and the third time I watched it was the 3D, and definitely the best edition is, if, if the extended edition had 3D, I would have really, really said uh, that was the best edition, because, you know, there's the little key scene with uh, Channing Tatum and The Rock messing around with Flint, and there's also extra, you know, fighting between uh, Snake Eyes and uh, Jinx. So, yeah, it definitely is considered the extended action cut for a reason. But, yeah, um, other than that, I would definitely pick the 3D just because it's 3D. It looks better. Um, you enjoy the film a bit more with the whole three-dimensional. And, you know, it comes in this real nice uh, steelbook that has artwork in the back. So, hopefully that helped you guys for a future purchase of G.I. Joe if you haven't purchased it already. And if you guys already purchased it, comment down below. Let me know which one you got. I had to get both of them because I really, really enjoyed the film. thought it was a real fun watch. It's not the best movie ever, but it's a fun watch. It's a summer blockbuster. Very enjoyable film with a good cast. And I can't wait for the third one. So, Lex Express checking in, checking out with the blue review for G.I. Joe Retaliation. Peace.